you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Hello everyone again, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're going to enjoy today's video and want more content like this, then feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. At number one, we have Prince Andrew and the Epsteins. Prince Andrew served as the UK's trade envoy from 2001 through to 2011, when he stepped down due to mounting criticism over some of his personal relationships, which was him being close friends with the American financer and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. After I got married, I was um, very happy. Um, and, and, and I've never really felt the need to go and party. And certainly going to um, Jeffrey's was not about partying. Absolutely not. You said you weren't very good friends, but would you describe him as a good friend? Did you trust him? Uh, uh, yes, I think I probably did. Virginia Roberts accused Epstein of forcing her to have sex with the prince when she was just 17 years old back in 2001. The allegations from a 2015 defamation case resurfaced in the media as the case became unsealed. Prince Andrew has denied the claims and a spokesperson for Buckingham Palace emphatically denied the allegations in an August 2019 statement provided to The Insider. Four days after a catastrophic interview with the BBC news site where he spoke about his friendship with Epstein, Prince Andrew announced he would step down from his royal duties. Number 2. Meghan Markle's controversy with her father Thomas Markle's no-show at the royal wedding was thought to be due to his poor health, as he suffered a heart attack just days before Harry and Markle tied the knot in Windsor back in May 2018. Every paper seemed to want to make me look like a dumb, fat slob. I got approached by uh, a guy named Jeff Rainer, who spoke to me and said, I can change your image, he said. The idea was that these would all be candid shots, discreet, no one would know. They were posed or anything. They, it would be just me doing my routine daily. I was feeling that this was very hokey and hammy, but he keeps saying, you gotta trust me. But one year after the wedding, it turned out that Thomas and the Duchess appeared to have a strained relationship, with Thomas even speaking out against his daughter in several interviews with the British tabloids. Things got even worse when Markle sued a publication over the misuse of private information, infringement of copyright, and breach of the Data Protection Act 2008 after it published excerpts from a letter she sent to her father, and she won the case. Number 3. Megan and Harry step back from the royal life and the Oprah interview. Megan and Harry announced that they intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty, the Queen. They also wrote that they would split their time between North America and the UK. The couple carried out their last official royal engagement at the annual Commonwealth Day service in London in March 2020. They later bought a home in California. Then there was a huge interview they did with Oprah. Markle told Winfrey that Kate Middleton made her cry the week of her wedding over a flower girl dress and not the other way around, as had been reported in tabloids. She also said members of the royal family had concerns and conversations about how dark Archie's skin would be before he was born, and the firm told them that Archie wouldn't receive a title or security breaking from protocol. An obsession about anything in my world, including tracking down my parents, and I did everything I could to protect both of them in that media frenzy. But for over a year, the UK tabloids were trying to find my dad, offering people so much money to try to find his address. Once they did, I remember being told there was a huge headline like, we found him or we've got him. I'm talking about someone's father. And from that point, the tabloids, they moved into the apartment next door and across from him, descended on this small town, were just giving him gifts. The whole thing brings us to where we are today. Mm. She also opened up about having suicidal thoughts amid constant tabloid criticism and racism and said a senior member of the royal institution wouldn't let her seek help. Harry revealed that his family cut him off financially in the first quarter of 2020 and that Prince Charles stopped taking his phone calls before they announced they were stepping back from the royal family. He also said that it hurts that the royal family never acknowledged tabloid's racist treatment of Meghan Markle and that none of the royal family members has reached out to apologize for the reasons he felt he had to leave. At number 4 we've got Prince Charles' love life. The Prince of Wales married Diana in 1981, but things quickly took a turn for the royal couple. Diana was recorded allegedly admitting that she was deeply in love with someone who worked in the palace and Charles later began having an affair with former girlfriend Camilla. 
In 1992, Charles and Diana officially announced their separation. Three years later, the Princess of Wales famously told BBC that there were three of us in the marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Her divorce from Charles was finalized in August 1996, one year before she tragically died in a car crash in Paris. Charles went on to marry Camilla in 2005. At number 5 we've got Diana's TV interview. In 1995, Diana sat down for a tell-all solo interview with journalist Martin Bashir. She spoke of her struggles with self-harm and bulimia and it was the first time she admitted to knowing about Charles' affair with Camilla. Do you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. <laughs> The famous quote, there was three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded, came from this interview. At number six, we've got Prince Harry's Nights Out. The Duke of Sussex was labeled as a rebellious royal before he settled down with Meghan in 2018. He was forced to issue a public apology in 2005 after photos leaked of him wearing a swatch sticker armband at a party. Quote, I'm very sorry if I caused any offense or embarrassment to anyone. It was a poor choice of costume and I apologize. He said in a statement at the time. I had to ring the palace. Hello. I told them I had a picture of Harry and the Nazi outfit and we were going to run it on our front page the next day. And there was a very long pause on the phone. The controversy didn't stop there. Seven years later, naked pictures emerged from Harry's Las Vegas getaway, reportedly taken during a strip billiards game. The scandal prompted St. James's Palace to contact the Press Complaints Commission before the snaps made their way to British tabloids. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and so much more. Goodbye for now, everyone. We'll see you next time.